What's going on guys, it's me Shugishu, we are back with another Uma Musume video, and in this video we are back with Aguri Cap, the Christmas one to be more specific, and honestly I think she's just going to be the one instead of Hokutanomai at the current moment, uh, plus we have like a week, 8 days before the CM anyway, and also the countdown for the half anniversary had already started, so there's 10 days before that. Uh, well, I guess technically nine, because reset is in a couple hours, basically. But yeah, it's basically nine days by the time it's like two hours after this video is posted. So, <laughs> yeah, we have a, pretty much nine days until the anniversary. So I'm just going to pick Cap for the very reason that. I know, if, I know I can <laughs> train her better than Tanumai at the current moment. So yeah, that's going to be the reasoning. So the next couple of videos will most likely just be between the three. Because technically, yes, I do have a UE9 Ishi Amazon. But ob obviously, I, I do want to get at least the best I can. Because that Ishi Amazon doesn't have an S at all. So yeah. As for the uh, support cards, I almost said inheritance. Same thing as yesterday. Pretty much, Okotaro Mai, Mai, and Marzenski's setup have been the same as Caps. So, two speed, one guts, one power, one wise, and also one Yoyoi friend card. And that is pretty much my setup. So, uh, let's go jump into training. Sorry, my. I sneezed a couple times before the video, and it's just one of those mornings. <laughs> it's honestly one of one of those mornings. But bef but let's go jump into the training, and before we do jump into the training, and also go over the comments itself. If you guys haven't joined a circle, or you guys are looking for a circle to join, feel free to join the circle that I'm in. It is called Shushu. Once you give that a search, hit request or join. It'll let me know that you want to join the circle go to this comment section and also let me know that you sent the request but also letting me know that your what your in-game name is just so i can match them and make sure that i'm accepting you into the circle rather than someone else so oh and also i haven't said this in a while uh all i'm really asking for uh when you join a circle is to you know you're a fairly newer newer player, probably, you know, I, I, I would expect a couple runs, like two, three runs a day, just so you can get a more familiarized with the the game. Um, but yeah, I expect at least like one to two runs a day, just so we can get the fan contributions up. We get the fan contributions up, we can get our circle rank higher, we got our circle rank higher, the better rewards we get for getting our circle rank higher so that's that's pretty much the main focus uh that i want when it comes down to the circle is you know trying to just benefit those who want to benefit off the circle basically just trying to help out those who uh not only want to you know help out the circle and all the other circle members get these rewards well but also you know You can also get like some kind of <laughs> I don't know circle race going on because Eugen has been doing the practice races so I don't know it depends honestly how active the circle gets that's why I've been trying trying to get the circle down to just people who have gone in through the video and that's why I did put the request to join because before we did have people joining, but I wasn't sure if they were from the videos or they were randos just looking for a circle to join. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, but I will, I will say this after 
this month when checking up on the fan contributions. I'm just going to be real. And if, if it feels like people aren't up to par, especially if I go and check their <laughs> profile and all that. And they don't, depending on their profile, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's still possible for anyone to reach like 10 mil a month. Uh, but or for fan contributions, that's what I'm talking about. So but we'll just see what happens by the end of this month uh, with circle things. So there will be probably some changes to the circle members by the beginning of September, just for the fact that. I just want to make sure that um, the people we have in a circle are there to, you know, not only get the benefits for themselves, but also, you know, there to also help benefit the whole circle themselves uh, also. So, yeah, with that being said, it's been a while since I said that because I felt like, <laughs> it'll, well, I guess it registered my click on that. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know. Just to make sure that the members we get for the circle aren't there for like the first week or so and then, or even like the first month for an example, and then they just go from being pretty active or active to not even looking like they log in to do a training at all so yeah if, if it starts to look like that honestly i don't want to sound rude or anything but if you do get kicked out know that i don't mean you know anything just just know that i don't mean anything harmful or just know like ill meaning or ill intention towards it it's just i just want the best for the circle especially for those who actually you know try to put in the effort to put in you know try to get the circle rank up and all that so that's pretty much it because if i used to go and see that there are like what four or five people who basically haven't look like it hasn't they have only done like two three trainings for the month it's it's gonna get a little it's gonna get a little you know questionable not even a little a lot of a lot of it more questionable so it is what it is at that point other than that while i was talking about that i didn't get the comments <laughs> loaded up and the the first good amount of comments are gonna be from nova and the first one says, don't you also get fan count from doing PvPs? I have done that twice most of the time. Maybe that might be a reason. I know you don't do PvP, so... I don't know. This is the first, like, circle circle <laughs> that I've been in. Yes, I've been in a circle, but it's not like... You were trying to do stuff. It was just join and whatever happens happens to those circles the, the free to play casual circles where you're just there just to be in a circle or a, a guild so to speak <laughs> and i was doing that until literally when before making this circle so i'm not sure i'm not sure eugen had responded saying team stadium race gains fan count like so you're telling me So you're telling me this whole time these past few months the circle's been few couple months this circle has been going on that I could have been getting a little bit more uh fan contributions if i had done fan contributions toward the circle if i had <laughs> done the pvps because i know i stopped quite a bit so that's a lot but dang if that's the case then 
I'm gonna have to start doing it. I'm gonna have to start doing it. Because to me, before, the PvP was more just like, eh. I'm just like, whatever. If, I ha if it gives me more of an incentive or import more of a reason to do it and, you know... Fan count for the circle is a good is a good reason for me because we do want to get it as high as we can with the people we got. And Nova had responded saying, "Let's go." Well, if Eugen says so, then why didn't you tell me this earlier, Eugen? Knowing that I don't do the the PvP or arenas <laughs> here and there, and I haven't done it in a while. I'll be honest. I will be honest. What if I just do this? Next comment says, with the new gate, you should probably look for the final episode scenes. Those are really, really bad. The story itself is mid, but the graphics, man, they run out of budget and just replace some scenes with doodles. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see for myself because I think where I went was somewhere in the middle of this of the series, like that season. And I just had to go take a look. From what I saw, at least it just looked like. I don't know. Your average mid looking i don't know it, it just kind of looked like that the animations at least it like i said it wasn't bad and it wasn't it wasn't too bad and it wasn't that good you know i was just like oh it's 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 an anime that's it but if you're making a look sound like they just put on some doodles i gotta have to see this for myself and the final episode scene so Basically, I'm going to just say the last couple minutes. Maybe. I'll say, yeah, probably the last couple minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. Because it didn't even seem interesting to me. But what's more interesting is the fact on how bad you're seeing these animations are. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I think we should rest, but it's garlic. Oh, it's fine. Is it a conscious thing or is it a pride thing where you don't feel the need to farm shell crits? <laughs> I did it for a day or two since the ascension mats are very easy to get. I'd argue only the plants are hard to come by if you don't do your daily farmer activities. I wouldn't necessarily apply ones aren't too hard i mean if you just you could just like literally search the locations online you should be able to just find it off the rip like that uh, for myself i don't necessarily have been getting them just for the fact that i don't know i mean i feel like i s have enough i think I think for Verena, I would need more because she is still only level 70. And I don't know if I have enough to get her to 80 and 90. And then that will leave, I think, Chung Li. Not Chung Li. Uh, Yin Lin to 90 because she's at 80 right now. So. I don't think the plants or flowers are an issue when it comes to you to the ascension at least uh for me it's either <laughs> well obviously it's either the shell credits that stop me because no money or no credits no upgrading or training or anything like that sadly <laughs> but i think the reason why you could say I'm stubborn to not wanting to farm for show credits 
is because I never had to do that for Genshin, Star Rail, even in Zenless right now with the amount of characters I've worked on in 1.0 before 1.1. Honestly, I'm surprised that I was able to get an like basically two teams worth of characters to get them basically available to make them level 50 where before the the update last night or yesterday um I only had Juju Yuan at level 50 and then everyone else that were leveled up were Pretty much at 45. As in like Anby, Nicole, Ellen, even Nakamada. And Shokaku. Now with Ching Yi, I do have Ching Yi at level 50 as well to go along with Zhu Yuen and her team and Nicole. So yeah, just <laughs> I don't know if it's a pride thing or a conscience thing. I just know that me not needing them and pass Hoyo and not to say in the Hoyo games basically just kind of makes me wonder why is it so expensive in in Wuthering Waves? Is it the fact that they didn't give too much? Because remembering my start in Star Rail, I didn't have that issue. Remembering my start in Well, thing is, I have more characters built, technically. From 1.0 to 1.1, I guess comparing <laughs> Weathering Waves and Lanzana Zone Zero, character-wise, leveling them up, I just feel like the Weathering Waves is just more expensive. It just feels like they made it more expensive there. I don't know why. Either that or maybe it just required more of the experience materials and that's why it's doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's more expensive than Wuthering Waves. I just know that it is and it, that's pretty much it. Like, if I was going to find something to complain about in Wuthering Waves now, I feel, since my loading time has been pretty good the last, like, two weeks, basically. I know I mentioned this yesterday, I believe. It would have to be on how expensive some of the ascensions get. But, like, yeah, I get it, like, it was to level 90 and all that, but... You know what? I would have to see how much actually... It is. Although I. I'm really thinking right now. Because. Because I think Genshin and Star Rail. I think I only got him at 80. Star Rail. I'm I, I, not Star Rail. Genshin. Not sure. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't necessarily been paying attention to my characters since they haven't really been releasing new characters, and I just been using the same team, this whole Fontaine thing, since I got that team. Even though I have made a few teams along the way. It just didn't, it didn't feel right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't know if it's a pride or a conscious thing. I just, just don't feel. I think I'm just stubborn. Whether it's a conscious or pride thing, I. The main thing is I'm just stubborn, and because of the fact that I didn't feel the need to do it. I mean, if anything, I'll. If I don't have anything to farm, when it comes down to it, as in like. 
And then I got all like the ascension stuff I need. The the boss drops or I guess what are they called? The forgery ones to get the like the items for specific resonators, like a sword resonator and all that. Those items as well. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll work on all that first. No, because then what's the whole point of going off there all of that if I can't even level them up, right? Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, it's a good question. Is it a pride thing or is it a conscious thing? To me, it's just the fact that I've just been used to the fact that I didn't need to, you know, go to the, uh, go to the point of having to farm for whatever credit or yeah, credits that is there. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh no, we got a rest. I don't know why that comment appears twice here, so I'm just gonna scroll up past the second one. Uh huh. Well, I always pull based on huge or something else. I think there will be many wallet implosions and upcoming patches. Heck, I just might get them all. Um, I feel like you'll pull if, if I guess they are quote unquote huge, as long as they are quote unquote huge or they don't wear glasses, but I feel like, I don't know, you if do you remember the girl i was mentioning about in uh, sandless zone yesterday in yesterday's video that was part of section six that is part of the 1.3 banner that i saw for, that i saw now i'd say i'd say you would have pulled for her if it wasn't <laughs> for her glasses that's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, that's all, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. So, yeah. And to be honest, I've... I've never heard you, you know, get excited or... You know, excited about pulling for a character... Although I don't think there has been a character. I don't know. <laughs> in any of your games. Other games. But. Yeah. I, I'd say. I'd say this whole time. It just sounds like. You, you would pull for them. As long as they have. Quote unquote. Huge assets. <laughs> that, that, that's what it sounds like. Along with, you know, the joking around with the whole uh, Eugen liking, the, you know, the, the small characters. Or Petite, to be more specific. Yeah, because I, I don't think Eugen necessarily just likes the short character. I think, she, I think he just likes the more... Petite, and I think he also mentioned like the 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 like. <laughs> I don't know. I think the smart kind of feeling vibe kind of characters. I think, Eugene, you can correct me. I I'm just going off the top of my head. I could be wrong. So yeah, you could you could say like you and Eugene when it comes down to like, guest preferences to <laughs> waifus. I guess I'll just for the you know. Just to make my life easier to describing it. 
But I feel like when it comes down to that, it's literally the opposite. And like I said, I'm like right in the middle. Although, although there's there's a certain size of limit, but it's like I've said in the past. Big to a certain extent, because there, there, there is as there is a thing as too big. <laughs> there is a thing for each person personally. The it differs by a different margin every time. So, yeah, yeah. But just just based off, you know. <laughs> Just, just based off uh, from what I remember, at least, it it, ha it doesn't seem like you've gotten like, excited or anything like that for, you know, the more characters on the petite side. Well, like, I think a good example would be the way you sounded pulling for Jin C and Wuthering Waves <laughs> and Chung Li. That there was a huge difference. On excitement, and obviously, you went for Chung Li's weapon, also. So, <laughs> and Jin Si being in the more petite side, and being as thick as what you would want them to be more Nova, that I guess, I, I guess it makes more sense now, now that I've put that out there so yeah i would i would think that they would have to have hold on both huge assets i don't know what this something else would be because all, all you've said as long as they gotta <laughs> we've said it this a few times what was it huge plot with huge personality well at least i say you're the huge part for the personality So yeah, you tell me, Nova. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me what this something else is, because based off what I know, you'll pull for them for huge assets, good personality, and no glasses. I got. I had to add that last one. <laughs> I had to add the last one. So yeah. But let's see. DLC in terms of more gotcha banners. I'm not sure even how do you describe this phenomenon since collab reruns are extremely rare as it is, and now we get more characters. So I'm assuming you what you mean by collab DLC is just basically an extension of said collab. Because oh, you're getting more characters to, I guess, essentially extend the collab. For me, then, yeah, I have played something like that from the, uh, at least a game who has done that. And that would be the Seven Deadly Sins one. Uh, they brought back a, their Attack on Titan collab, I would say two times. The... Was it the slime isekai? I want to say they did that collab like three times at the most. If they did go through it three times. Um, shoot, what was that most recent one? Not most recent one, but. There was one. Oh, the, the Rising of the Shield Hero one definitely went three collab runs. So to me, it isn't necessarily a new thing, because just based off from what you're describing, it just sounds like... It just sounds like... Just getting another collab from the same IP with more characters. So, just from the way that sounds, it fits what I've experienced in 7 Deadly Sins game. So, yeah, it's, it has happened. It's, it is a rare thing. You don't necessarily see collabs 
get reruns uh, too often or at all. Especially if it's new reruns that leads to new, more characters. Uh, but yeah. It's not a new thing to me, but it's definitely not a, like, a thing you would see often. Also, based off your ex expression, it does seem like that even that you probably haven't encountered it in any other of the games that you play that we I probably don't play. At least that's how it seems like. I could be wrong. Then again, I could be misunderstanding your how you're just trying to describe this phenomenon, as you would call it, from what you said. So I'm not sure if I'm describing it correctly. I could be wrong. But once again, uh, in Seven Deadly Sins, I've had that happen where basically, like an example, Rising of the Shield Hero going going three collabs, if I'm not mistaken, three collabs in with, with Seven Deadly Sins. I guess practically one per season. <laughs> is the way to say it so yeah if it's just like that then good if it's not like that then I'm gonna need a better description and yes it is different characters every collab rerun collab I guess collab rerun yeah I guess so One thing I'll say about my training Uma frequency is that it depends on my mood. <laughs> I think there are days where I just train more than once because I didn't like the bad RNG from the first run. Hold on, I'm just trying to pick an option here. Uh, I guess I could just rest as well. First run, the other factor is basically if I don't get good Umas for an upcoming CM or League of, hey, Le League of Heroes. I was about to say League of H. <laughs> I might do a bit more, but this time around, I'm okay with Ricky with UH6 as the lowest rank Uma on my team. Yeah, I figured you weren't doing half a training a day. <laughs> I figured you weren't, because it, it doesn't add up to the amount of points. Even if you were to add the PvP points, I don't think it would have made it to how far because uh, what you do like five P pvps a day that's i don't know is that even a, i don't it's been it's been that long i don't remember the like average amount i would have gotten <laughs> but after this after this i'll jump into it before uh editing the video i'll jump into it because now that i know then it, it literally gives me more of a reason to do it because before to me, it was just like, eh. <laughs> I don't want to do it, even though I'm just spamming the button just so it can speed up. But now let's see if I get wrecked again from Eugen's Gulag Grace. If so, then I'm going to go Rage in League. I, I don't know how the results have been going. So I did see before recording the video that um, some of the races were still available for me to join, so I, I did that. I think there's one race left available, but I don't know if it is now. So yeah, I, I don't know if I've been doing good or not with my placeholders. Uh, next one says Camo Musume, although I see well emojis <laughs> right beside it and the last comment from nova says oh no no character before the festival or i guess half anniversary does that mean they're gonna have two fest umas i might be right you know what you know what you might be onto something you might be onto something I think the fact that you 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 spoke it into existence it could, could it could have been the reason, but who knows? We still got a whole nine days basically before we see the banners. Well, I guess 
either late this week or early next week we'll find out through Paka Live, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see. If they do do it, I'm, a, I'm just going to point the finger on you, Nova, for speaking it into existence. It's going to point the finger at you. They ask why... Someone asked why side games do this. I'm going to point at Nova. <laughs> I would say it was Nova's fault. That's it. But yeah, that is pretty much it from... Uh... Hey, that's weird. I thought... I thought maybe it was a, a YouTube thing on why there was two of the same comments. And I thought if I had refreshed it, it would have disappeared. But no, they're both still here. One of them, the one, one of them then disappears. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like and heart it because the same comment, but it's just there. So might as well schedule the other dirt race here. I'm not planning to really. Well, I will check at the very least to see how the rainbow training is for those two days. If it's just an initial typical normal like 30, 20, I most likely not care about the rainbow training. But the next comment is from Eugen. <laughs> LOL, that's 3% chance double friendship training and wood foods that turn into failed practice. Should I call that 3% chance a lucky or unlucky mustard? Honestly, the fact that the fact that it's 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 I want to say uncommon. It is uncommon, but like the fact that it's that possible still common enough for it to happen i'd say it's unlucky <laughs> very unfortunate especially after using you know the food stuff and all that it's, it's very unfortunate <laughs> almost similar chance percentages when you pull for a rainbow i don't know if we'll call it lucky or lucky a uh, lucky or unlucky you made a good point there but then let's like i said I don't believe in luck as much. So to me, to me, the fact that it just didn't work out one at three percent just seems unlucky to me, because it's the percentage is so low. I would have never expected it to fail like that. <laughs> but Project Zomboid is I can say Sims with zombies and yeah, surviving the apocalypse. As long as it's a zombie game, the main objective is normally surviving the apocalypse and however the game wanted you to do that. Whether it's through story or I guess in this case through like sims, so I guess simulations and all that. Like I said, I never... Well, when you say like sims... Do you mean like, like actually like Sims the game, just with a little zombie twist, or oh, you literally just said it, it's the Sims with zombies. I think the bad thing about putting that as the description for myself, at least. Is like I said, I didn't enjoy Sims. <laughs> like Sims the game. So if the main comparison is Sims being the main game with zombies, that doesn't look good on my end. To me, that just looks like a game I won't play, even though I love zombie games. Uh, my train along in Twin Turbo. Just trying our trying out using Ramino Wise card to increase skill points, but it seems Ramino's rainbow training were stingy too. 
My Romano stingy? I know someone was stingy. I just don't remember if it was Romano to be exact. So it ended up with UD into stats of 16, 69 speed, 10, 11 stamina, 15, 59 power, 12, 01 guts, and 10, 37 wise with dirt aptitude of eight. I know I looked a little surprised when I read the stamina, but then I realized it was twin turbo and you're most likely doing great escape, I would assume. Because I don't. I don't see a reason to be at a thousand for a mile or short distance race or stamina unless you're a great escape. And then lastly, there is um, on the last portion of Eugen's comment, there are the room match IDs for the practice matches for the CM. So if you guys don't want to join, feel free to check Eugen's comment and join the practice races. And then Nova had responded to Eugen's comments saying. I think my failed percentage is high around 20%. But Shushu has bad luck even at 1 to 3%. Could this luck be offsetting the lucky mustard pulls? I wouldn't say so. I, I would. I would say I've gotten 1 to 3% failed training more than lucky pulls or i guess to you guys lucky pulls <laughs> so yeah it, it has happened to me more getting to field one to three percent than something like the calcium light pull for it to for that to happen Plus, it, uh, yeah, to, to recent date, I don't think I've gotten actually, I guess in your guys' terms, too lucky or too much of a lucky mustard, I guess. And at least it had to feel that way. Uh, let's see. Because Calcium Light practically just offsetted dream, my Dream Journey pulls, which were really bad at 130 pulls, basically. So Calcium Light kind of made up for that, or made up for that for sure. Um, I believe before that, I went for North Flight, went about half a pity for to try and get her. And then Agnes Tachyon went, I, I believe, half a pity as well together uh, while Tachyon I did North Flight I didn't so that the I guess the luck there was kind of kind of bad when it came down to it before that didn't do any pulls prior to that I don't think I did any pulls with Ryan Craft. I don't think so. So literally before that, before Agnes Tachyon was Duramente, as we know, is the anniversary character. So since Duramente, I haven't really done too well. <laughs> I know in the Tachyon banner, I didn't do good nor nor very bad then north flight pretty much made the very not the so uh made the not very bad agnes tachyon pulls seem very bad because i ran out or not i didn't run out i think i just stopped pulling because it didn't it's, it started looking bad <laughs> i think that's what happened and then, and then, Dream Journey happened. It's been bad. That one was bad. Calcium Light definitely made that one up. So I, I would say, 
I would say since the anniversary. This is a third year anniversary. My my luck when it came down to polling hasn't been too good. So yeah, I, I wouldn't say that it offsets or <laughs> offsets the, the polls. Because I know for a fact the one to three percent has happened multiple times. And yes, it has happened multiple times off camera as well. So if we add those into consideration, then I don't think it offsets it. I don't think it offsets it at all. But thank you for the comment, Eugene and Nova for replying. The next comment is... Uh, I'm trying to see and figure out if this... Because sometimes YouTube gives me two names. And what I mean by two names, it's... For some odd reason, one where I just see it on the normal like YouTube Studio dashboard. And then sometimes the name will change when I go over to the comment section. But, regardless of that... The next comment is from someone we haven't seen in the comment section at all. So I'd like to say welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. Yorzian Bun. Obviously, I feel like I didn't say that right. At least the first part. So I'm just going to call you Bun. Because that's the... <laughs> it... It's the easier part of your day, so I hope you don't mind me just calling you Bun. Unless there's another name you want me to talk call you by, then we can go do that. But yeah, don't don't get mad that if I totally butcher that. I I do apologize. But the comment says your videos got me to download the game and give it a try. I sent a request to join your circle with the trainer name of Juan Ron Track. Well. I will give that a look after the video. Now, seeing that you are <laughs> a new player, uh, the timing, I'd say, is you know right before the half anniversary, so not bad. Pretty good timing, I'd say. Getting, I guess, you know. Dipping your toes into the game before the half anniversary and all the madness happens. But, uh, um, since you are, like I said, a newer player, uh, I would have to, <laughs> just to be honest, just to be completely honest, my expectations when it comes down to defend contributions for the total, at least, for the month may, will not be as high as someone who has been playing for a while now uh but i will be at least expecting you to at least be, be doing a few runs a few days just trying to get used to the game and essentially just getting used to the game <laughs> pretty much and also trying to get like all the rewards and stuff from doing the past scenario missions and all that so that there are things for you to do so I'm expecting, uh, as a new player, I'm expecting more, more training, more training completions, you know, just trying to get used to the game, trying to get the missions and all that, than fan contributions. At least that's how I see it, because At least from what I remember, fan contributions when I first started weren't that great. If we're, you know, being totally honest. But yeah, I'll take a look at the request. If I see Ron Ron track, then I will accept it. But I will say it now, at least. Welcome to the circle. Nova had responded saying, Welcome, sir. Now is a great time to join before the anniversary. There you go. It, it usually is just a good time normally to join a game 
more really for a big event and all that so yeah it is a good time and you are about nine days eight days i don't know nine days before so gives you time to it gives you time to farm a little bit more in the game you know going through the missions while trying to get used to the to the game and then also i didn't even realize i was in the last day but oh well <laughs> oh well but yeah other than that thank you for the comment bun or orzian bun like i said correct me if, if i said that wrong obviously if there's a name you want me to call you by and we'll go with that as well but nice to see you in the comment section hopefully see you more in the future and the last two comments unless i refresh this and there's an extra one the last two comments are going to be from tanoki first one says maybe but not too convinced about pulling for summer tarumai as for the half anniversary maybe saigo is fully committing to only giving op stuff during new scenarios and not necessarily anniversary we'd have no idea because before this all any corn spots to the scenario that is true um in general when it comes down to third umas i don't necessarily feel convincible for them just because of the frequency of dirt cms and league of heroes they don't necessarily appear too often so as you would expect the amounts of times that i would say us as a whole like like the uh, people who play the the game itself i would say that they don't tr train dirt umas unless they're updating their pvp teams or it's a new dirt uma that they pulled for or if it's for a cm or league of heroes other than that i don't see them just doing a normal daily training for a <laughs> dirt uma that's just how i see it myself though so i could be completely wrong but that's just how i see it myself as for the half annie i don't know last year's half annie hard wise just based off um nova yes nova is an example he had a really good set of cards because of <laughs> because of that so I would say when it comes down to the half any character, the character side of things, the character banner is kind of more of the underwhelming side where maybe the the support card side as per usual is more of the better side of things when it comes down to the half anniversary. And yeah, this is the first time we are getting a half anniversary that doesn't come all that doesn't align with a new scenario, which is gonna be weird. But I think they'll still give us the they'll most likely still give us free pulls, obviously, because half anniversary. If they gave us pulls for Golden Week and also for the release of the new scenario, then obviously they should be able to do it for just the half anniversary itself so yeah and yeah like you said before this all all scenarios corresponded with the any dates but now we're basically in a trimester trimester system every four months uh new tr it's a new scenario so every four months is a, is a trimester right three three tri yeah yeah if i'm remembering that correctly it is a trimester so i don't know oh i i didn't realize yeah i, I didn't pay, pay attention as much as i thought towards the end <laughs> tanoki uh tanoki 
Nova had responded to Tanoki's comment saying, I pass on Summer Taco because I think Dirt Umas in general will just be bench when we don't have Dirt or CM or League of Heroes. Pretty much like I said, it'll pretty much be used unless we have a Dirt or a Dirt CM or League of Heroes updating the PvP teams or uh, it's a new Uma you pulled for and just so happens to be a Dirt Uma. That's just how I see it. But thank you, Nova, for replying to the comment. And the last one says... Hold on. My language is not as descriptive enough to describe the Ramane bottle. Time to make that Discord server so I can post photos. But yes, still push the marble in. Speaking about the Discord server, I'm pretty sure I didn't mention anything about it. But <laughs> just in case I did, I just want to say it again. Uh... Don't expect, like, some fancy schmancy looking uh, discourse. There's going to be just your normal looking, just plain Jane looking uh, discord server. It's, that's how, I'm just going to be real. And it'll, it'll most likely be out by the end of this month. I did say around August, so around this month, so it'll, it'll most likely be towards the second half of this month. And like I said, it's just going to be a normal Discord server, so don't expect it to be all fancy. <laughs> but other than that, that is pretty much all the comments. So thank you for all the comments, Tanoki, Bun. Eugen and Nova, appreciate it as always. And if you guys do want to get your comments read in the video, just like what I did here, uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. And uh, as as I would say later, once more, as long as it's appropriate, I'll go over it and respond to any questions you guys have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to say that one more time at the end. Uh, yeah, this one wise wasn't too good, so I'm just gonna grab whatever. Just gonna grab whatever. I think I need one more recovery skill. There we go. 112. Sure. So we ended off with 1706 speed, which I'll be okay with. 461 stamina, really low. 1305 power, 1263 guts, and 1048 wise, which is obviously low because we do want it at least 1200. And no S aptitude anywhere. Yep, anywhere, no S aptitude. Uh, I'd say UE still, yeah, because of the 1700. Yeah. If we had stayed in the 1600, we probably would have still been a UE, just not as high. It is still just a UE one, so I don't feel as bad, <laughs> but. With that being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the run. If there's anything else you guys want to talk about, let me know what you guys want to ask or talk about down in the comment section. Whether if it's anime, whether if it's other gacha games or video games in general or anything else, just leave it down in the comment section. And also, um, yeah, let me know if how excited you guys are for the half anniversary obviously it's in like nine to ten days and honestly i'm hoping for a character i don't want to pull for just so i can focus on the support cards but we'll see how it is 
And also, if you guys haven't joined a circle or you guys are looking for a circle to join, feel free to join a circle that I'm in. It is called Shushu. Circle ID photo should have been on the screen while I was closing this video. It also should have been in the beginning when I first talked about <laughs> the circle as well. But once you give that a search, click request join. Oh, let me know that you want to join the circle. And also go back to the comment section. Let me know that you sent the request. And also your in-game name is just so I can match the names and make sure that I'm accepting you into the circle. And like I said earlier, the main goal is to, you know, get our fan contribution or our fan count a little bit higher, more higher than we can, just so we can get the more benefits out of it, better rewards, and it'll help out everyone in the circle. And that's pretty much the whole goal is to contribute as much as you can throughout the month uh, so we can get our circle rank higher. And yes, this was... I will be mentioning this more that if by the end of the month or even if I if, if I see that it's not working throughout the month, I might have to you know let go of, let go of people if there doesn't seem like they're benefiting the circle or benefiting themselves by being in the circle by not doing any training or any type of fan contribution so. I just wanted to keep that he let you guys know let you guys know that just to, so you guys can keep that in mind but other than that that's pretty much it for this video thank you once again and as always i'll see you on the next one peace